In front of me is a Huawei P Smart from 2019 and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification screen. So to get started I will actually proceed a little bit to the setup and show you that the device is indeed locked so you can see. Skip this and And you can see there it is, I draw the pattern to unlock or use my Google account instead. And uh, there it is, verify your account. So what you wanna do is to bypass the, this screen right here, you want to go into recovery mode and perform a, another reset of the device. And so let's begin this. So number one, hold the power key, select power off, Tap it on it once more and wait for the phone to shut off. Now, once it has, you then want to hold power key and volume up, both of the keys at the same time. You will feel a vibration, keep holding, and you should see the Huawei logo soon after. There it is, so you can let go now. Now, uh, before we actually get started with this, I will warn that there is uh, this process doesn't work for every Huawei device on the Android 9. Um, some of them, when you try to go into safe mode, will actually open up a, a factory mode or something like that. Just a different menu, uh, and instead of booting into the, the Android system, it will just open up something else. So those devices will not work. But let's get started now. So number one, uh, if you want to even uh, try and see if your device falls under the category of well, the ones that can be bypassed. So you can tap on um, wipe data factory reset, type in yes, like so, and wipe data factory reset, and once more wipe data factory reset, and the process will begin. Wait for it to finish, and once it has, we will then up on safe mode. Okay, so once it's finished, tap on safe mode right here and wait for the device to boot back up. And like I said, if your device boots into something else than Android, then your device will not, well, is not compatible with this bypass. And as you can see, we are now in the Android system without any kind of setup. That's because of the safe mode. So from here, we want to go into the settings, scroll all the way down to system about phone and we want to enable the developer options. So let's see, um, where is it? Build number right here. So tap on that seven times and you will get a message. You are now a developer. Now we can go back and we want to go into reset, then reset phone, reset phone once more and reset phone once more and wait for the process to finish.
And as you can see now the process is finished so we can go to the setup of the device I'm gonna stick with English Tap on next next skip and next let's connect to some Wi-Fi next And you can see there is the sign in option, but you can completely skip it. And there is no verify screen, so I'm just gonna skip this for now and skip anyway. Go more and more and accept. Later. And skip, skip, skip. No thanks. Later. Update manually. And we're done. Now the device is fully bypassed and you can well, set it up as however you like. Now I chose to skip most of it as you've just seen. But like I said, you can set it up and log into everything that you wish. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.